Hi guys, this is Basker Berry here. In the last session, I showed you how to use uh, update else insert option in the uh, session level. In this scenario, we are going to see how to get the maximum salary in the department wise by using the aggregated transformation. Before that, let me show you the source tables. This is source DB S underscore salary and target T underscore salary. So if you see that this source table, we have six records and department wise they have uh, salaries so I need to get from the department from each department what is the maximum number of salary so using that aggregated transformation we can able to do this so let me show you with that demo I have already imported the source DB and target DB so let me start with creating a mapping Okay, target is uh, T salary. Should be. Before this, let us create a um, transformation. Aggregated transformation. Select all the columns to this aggregator. Set the properties for this. Let the um, uh, group let it let it group by department number here so group by department number so I'm not going to use it in the output port so I'm just going to remove this uh, disable this port here output and output port so let me add uh, one more column to get the maximum salary for me from each department so how it's going to possible just declare a way, uh, port name as max salary and give it as a decimal ok it's not an input port let us write an expression for that here if we go here we have uh, several aggregated functions uh, like about absolute add to date encryption decryption average seal choose character several um, aggregated functions we have here so among them sorry we have some 7 to 8 aggregate functions like average count first last max median mean percentile standard deviation sum so to get the maximum salary what I need to use I need the maximum functions which returns the um, maximum value of the expressions so which value I need that is nothing but salary value I need so I'm going to just select this validate this okay so now we're going to get the maximum salary from here and we're not going to output even this also so I just disabled so that the improvement uh, performance increases if you remove the unwanted uh, ports so we are I'm just grouping it by the department number so there are some properties actually like the previous transformation I have showed uh, I have explained in the my demos uh, these same properties we have here like cache directory which is used this is a system variable which stores the cache like a memory to during the aggregation performance uh, during the aggregation performing during the repository services we would have pointed the path where we need to store this the memory tracing level this is a log level like what type of uh, how much information you need in the log based on that just a normal thing. sorted input if the incoming data is uh, sorted already then you can use this option to you as a sorted input so that it increases the performance and one more thing if you select this option without sorting the data sorting the input data then it throws an error so be careful while checking this box here aggregate data cache size this is our aggregate index caches this store the data this store the index mm, uh, memory in the cache transformation scope we had two options all input and transactions like whether to apply for the all the rows or only for the specific rows the transactions proper uh, transformation scope property so I'm just selecting all input here okay click apply and save so now I'm going to drag and map it to the final table it's not getting properly so I'll just uh, name 
numbers because I need maximum salary so I'm going to map with this save it on saving create a workflow for this workflow. close the existing create a new one workflow aggregate demo okay add the scheduler for this get the aggregator mapping okay go change go to the mapping and change the connections here apply okay save it and validate this it's valid and saved so let's start this job run this so we can see in the monitor and it has got succeeded successfully so let us check in the table so now you can see here in the department 1000 we have Berry and Mala so which is the highest salary we have 15,000 and 16,000 so since we have provided we need the highest uh, salary in those department that's why that's the reason we are getting the employment Mala here because it's 1600 similarly in the department 1000 or 1001 we have uh, 15,400 and 15,890 so we are getting the maximum here similarly for Bose so this is how we can get we can not only get the maximum we can get minimum and we can use uh, several other operations also and one more main thing is uh, to perform the aggregator calculations between the transformations uh, uh, here we can't use a source um, qualifier to do the aggregate transformations if it the if the source is from the flat file that's one more thing we can do this task even here also by, by writing the um, SQL override query here okay and we can also remove the duplication of the records by grouping of all the columns uh, here that's one more advantages of using this uh, aggregator transformations okay thank you for watching please do subscribe